My name is Shankar Prasad. I'm on the uh, faculty here at Wagner. I teach um, two of the core courses that most of you, if you choose to come here, and I hope you do, uh, will take. Um, one of them is Introduction to Public Policy, and the second one is Introduction to Stats. Um, so, and I love teaching those two courses. They're a lot of fun, and I'm happy to answer uh, any questions about them and anything else. So, the goal of this session is to kind of give you a rough overview of what the PNP um, sort of concentration and then the specializations are, um, and then to really just take your questions. So I'm gonna run through some sure. basics. So the core courses that you would take, um, again, um, to sort of build the foundations for working in um, finance or um, within the policy decision-making world or management, um, we offer um, cores in statistics, in economics, um, financial methods, public policy, and then um, the operation and management of public service organizations. So again, stats, policy, um, econ, um, and MPSO is what we call them. And again, with the, all of those, you get sort of a core set of conceptual analytical tools or uh, frameworks that then you use within um, the specialized courses and the electives that you go on to take in the next couple of years that you're here. Once you've taken those cores, and, and what's neat is, again, it doesn't matter what you're specializing in, everybody starts out in them and sort of goes through the process of that first semester, first year together um, there, then you move on to specializing in one of four sort of concentrations. Um, one is uh, management specialization, public policy, financial management, there you go, financial management, and, uh, and then there's the international piece, and I know a lot of the international students um, went to the international breakout as well, but there's this international frame that you can sort of take um, that overarches everything else um, that we cover within PNP as well. So with the management there, again, we have a focus specifically to help students think about the tools that are necessary for leading and managing both within and across organizations. So if you want to go out and actually run um, an organization, our work in sort of the administration of that organization, what that process looks like and what those um, classes are um, there. So we specifically focus on looking at strategy and organizations. So this is you know, providing a macro level analysis of how to design organizations and the systems that they're in. So that's macro. Um, then looking at sort of the micro level, thinking about human resources and organizational behavior, um, so within an organization. Um, and then basic analytical schools for assessing performance management in particular. So those are the three things that we want to focus on when we look at management there. Um, now the Wagner sort of lens or our sort of um, uh, offering is to both give you the tools to evaluate um, and again, so not only to evaluate what the process is, but also assess whether you're meeting the goals of um, the, you know, the, the objectives that you've set out for yourself there. So a lot of our courses sort of offer that frame as well. Um, and you know, the students who go through that tech typically go into um, a managerial career in a public service organization um, with that objective of managing others. Again, um, so whether it's programs or organizations as well, but that's where students typically go through. And again, we can take some questions about that um, during the breakout or the question and answer session here. So that's the management frame. Um, public policy, um, there we really focus on, on thinking about formulating, implementing, evaluating public policies in particular. Students go on to work um, as policy analysts, as advocates, um, as legislative staff members in DC or in city agencies um, across uh, in New York or um, on the state level as well. Um, you know, and we really focus a lot on that implementation um, sort of uh, frame as well. And so that's what we, we, we focus on there. And there's a whole bunch of courses that, you know, use that frame and think about that. Um, with finance, uh, you know, we're focusing on formulating, implementing, evaluating policies and procedures, specifically by thinking about how we raise the resources that are necessary and then manage those resources to um, think about these organizations. So that can be both within an organization, sort of its financial resources, or from a policy perspective at the macro level as well, by thinking about those. And then obviously that international specialization is something that sits above all of these and sort of borrows components from um, each, of, um, each of them. Once we've established those specializations then, you can take a sort of set of electives and clusters. You can actually take some electives outside of your specific specialization as well to complement. So if you're really fascinated with finance in particular, but you also want a management background or you want some you know, policy background to sort of enhance your skill set, make a better case for yourself, especially when you enter the job market, you have that ability to take electives um, once you've sort of hit your, um, your, your core needs there. And then the final piece, once you've um, taken sort of that string of courses, is that you actually work on your capstone project then. And I'm happy to talk about the capstone during the Q&A in more detail. But the capstone is this really fantastic process where theory meets practice. So in other words, we um, organizations identify, so city agencies, um, nonprofits, hospitals, whatever, across um, really the world, 
identify specific um, things that they're trying to solve, and you work as if you would in a consultancy. Um, so you identify, again, what the need is, and then um, work with a group to actually problem solve. So a great example of a capstone um, last um, semester was that the Arab American League in New York wanted to do the first ever needs assessment for um, uh, members of the Arab community across the five boroughs, right? And they'd never done a needs assessment before just to get a sense of who, um, you know, what the members of their communities are, right? From basic resources to um, their interactions with agencies and sort of government officials, all of that stuff. And so the Capstan students in that group had to um, sort of figure out what it would be to measure that. So they designed this fantastic survey, both in um, Arabic and in English. Um, and then they had to figure out how they were going to disseminate that survey. And then once they did that, what they did with the actual data that they collected. Um, and then they had to present it to their organization. It was this in incredibly um, interactive process where they worked with the organization throughout the way, first to help them understand what it is exactly that they wanted to do, and then present it there um, so that they had a much better sense by the end of that of, of what their community looks like.